Good morning, year one. Today we are going to spend another day doing a little bit of number practice. And today we are going to be looking at number bonds, focusing on our teen numbers. Have a little think. Can you remember what our teen numbers are? What makes our teen numbers so special? They are the numbers from 11 all the way up to 19 are numbers between 10 and 20 and they all start with a one because they're all made up of one ten and then a different number of ones okay so let's warm up our maths brains quickly first on the board here i have got part of a number square but lots and lots of the numbers have gone missing so there are numbers starting with one up to ten and then we've got our t numbers here underneath so let's see if we can fill in our missing numbers one, two, three must be missing from here. Four, five, six, seven, eight must be missing from here. Nine, ten. And how do we write the number ten? One, ten, and zero ones. Then we've got our T numbers eleven, twelve. 13, 14, and we can look above here to help us. We've got the four there, but 14 means it starts with a one and then a four to show us that it is made up of one ten and four ones. What well, comes after 14? We need 15, same again, one ten, but this time there's five ones. 16, one ten, six ones. We need 17, one ten, seven ones. 18, 19, finally 20, which is a little bit different because it has got two tens and zero ones. And another challenge for us, getting our mass brains all warmed up, we've got some number patterns on the board. Some of our numbers here with the blue boxes have gone missing. Let's work out if we can see which numbers are missing. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This one starts from 12, this is a bit trickier. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Our numbers are getting one bigger each time. 16, a 10 and a 6. 17, 10 and a 7. 18, see if you can spot any patterns in these. Now, 12, 11, 10, 9. <gasps> this one's a little bit different. I can see our numbers aren't getting bigger each time. They are getting smaller. One less, 12, 11, 10, 9. Counting backwards, it must be 8, 7, 6. And then our final one, mm, 19, 18, 17. See, we're counting backwards again. So 16, 15, 14. And then this one back here, we've been counting backwards. So this must be one more than 19. What number is one more than 19? It's our number 20, two tens and zero ones. Okay, today we're going to be looking at our teen numbers and focusing on some subtraction. So let's have a little look at this question here. We have got some flowers here but it tells us that four flowers wither and die. How many flowers are left? So all of these flowers here, we want to get rid of four of them. Now, when we've been doing subtraction from teen numbers, we always start by looking for our magic, magic number. Can you remember what the magic number is that we always try and find when we're working with teen numbers to help us? It is the magic number 10. So let's see if here we can find 10 flowers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I know double 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So here are my 10 flowers. I'm going to circle over there. And so I'm left here with 6 because I know that 10 plus 6 makes 16. And from my 6 then, I'm going to take away my 4 because we subtract from the 1s. So 4 of my flowers. One, two, three, four. So now I've got 10 
here, which hasn't changed. I then did six take away four, which left me with how many? One, two. So now we have got 10 and how many over here? Two, our 10 didn't change, but we did six take away four. 10 and two, which equals what? One ten and how many ones? Two ones gives us the number 12. So 16, count back four, we end up with 12. And this is one way that you can be solving the problems from today, where you can be taking our magic number 10 and subtracting the ones to help you. I will put this page up onto Dojo or in our Google Drive for you all to find. But here is an example of some questions that you could solve today. So we have got lots and lots of part whole models here. I can see on all of them, we have been given the whole, but on all of them, we are missing one of the parts. So if we've got the whole, we need to take away one part to find the other part. So these are lots and lots of subtraction questions, starting with our teen numbers. So you can choose to either do these questions or you can ask somebody in your house to make some up for you. It doesn't matter, they're not exactly the same. But we are practicing subtracting ones from our teen numbers. So to start with, let's do one all together. 18, one part is one. So let's take one away from 18 if you can do that. Or remember, we can split this into 10 and eight. Take one away from eight, which gives us seven. But then don't forget to add our one back on, our 10 back on in front, and we get 17. So again with 16, take away four. If we can't do that straight away, let's partition this. We've got six, take away four is two. And we didn't do anything with our 10. We need our 10 back, which gives us 12 and lots of different questions there that you can have. A and a super challenge. On the board, we've got four parts whole models here with numbers seven, five, nine, and six. How many different ways can you make each of these numbers? So how many ways can you fill this in to make seven? We could have zero and seven. We could have six and one more make seven. How many different ways can you solve them? Can you find to make the numbers? Which of these numbers are there the most ways that you can find? I want you to have a little look. Can you compare the numbers and see which one has the most ways to make it? And can you work out why that is? And that's your super challenge. So both of these documents will be in the Google Drive for you to have a little look at. But if you'd like to use your own numbers, you can do that instead. So having a little practice of number bonds and part whole models, particularly subtracting from our teen numbers. And then starting from tomorrow, we're going to be looking at telling the times. So a little warm up for the week and we'll get going with our time learning from tomorrow. Good luck and have fun and I'll see you all tomorrow.